speculating in junior mining and making a profit is difficult, but a handful of investors and entrepreneurs have been able to amass a fortune doing so. If you're a millennial investor and new to resource investing, you definitely want to follow these individuals. Four of these legends have invested significant capital and consolidated assets in one specific country. Frank Justra, Ross Beauty, Lucas Landin, and Eric Sprott, four mining billionaires, have significant stakes in Brazil. Justra's Liga Gold last month announced a proposed merger with Equinox Gold with a transaction value now over $1 billion. Liga Gold has three operating gold mines and one development gold project in Brazil. Justra owns just over 9 million shares of Liga Gold worth about $32 million. Equinox Gold, Ross Beatty's most recent and final gold company, owns the Arizona gold mine in Pará, Brazil. This was the original cornerstone asset when Equinox was launched and it remains to be a foundational asset for the company. Beatty owns over 13 million shares in Equinox worth $146 million. Lucas Lundin and the Lundin family made a serious investment in Brazil when last year Lundin Mining acquired the Chapada Copper Gold Mine from Yamana for 800 million US dollars. Lucas personally owns about 18 million dollars and the Lundin family owns 743 million dollars in Lundin Mining. Earlier this month, Eric Sprott upped his stake in Jaguar Mining to just under 49%. Jaguar is a junior gold producer in the state of Minas Gerais. Sprott's stake in Jaguar is worth about $90 million. So these four titans have recognized that Brazil is one of the last emerging countries that has huge geological potential, and they want to be positioned for this current gold bull market. But what they're following and well-known names brings big premiums to their investments. At GNA, we're all about the microcap companies that we think have big potential. Two that are in Brazil are Altamir Gold and Cabral Gold. Altamir has a 5 million market cap and boasts a 700,000 ounce gold resource, which just received their trial mining license and is being put in production this year by FMS, Altamir's operating partner. What's interesting about this arrangement is Altamir does not have to put up any capital, but will receive 50% of the cash flow from operations once the 2.4 million US in capex has been repaid. Altamir has a portfolio of projects, but their two most promising are Appicast and Santa Elena. Management believes Appicast has major potential as it historically produced 1 million ounces of placer gold. Just for comparison, our neighbor to the west, Meteoric Resources, listed on the ASX, has a $35 million market cap. Santa Elena is prospected for copper porphyries with a 1.5 km wide anomaly and copper grades up to 0.8% at surface. Neighbors in the belt include Anglo American, Cadelco, and Nexa as Anglo-American made the first porphyry discovery back in 2017, which kicked off a staking rush. The second gold junior, Cabral Gold, is led by Dr. Alan Carter. This is the team that discovered Tocan Tanzinho, which hosts over 2 million ounces of gold, which Eldorado ultimately bought for $120 million. Cabral currently has about a 1 million ounce gold resource and a 6 million Canadian market cap, and currently just finished the phase two drill program with assays pending. The goal of this drill program is to define a high-grade resource as over 60 intercepts of 10 grams per ton gold were previously drilled and initial results from the phase 2 drill campaign returned 16.9 meters at 9.6 grams per ton gold. Management at Cabral are trying to pinpoint the hard rock sources of the placer gold at Kui Kui as it was the most productive placer operation in the Tapajos. Kui Kui produced 2 million ounces of gold versus 200,000 ounces from Tocan Tanzinho during the Tapajos Gold Rush. What I also like is that Cabral is backed by smart money with institutional investors, including Dundee Goodman, the Phoenix Gold Fund, O3 Investments, and RBC Precious Metals. If you like this video and want to hear more about junior mining stocks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Thanks for watching and good luck in the markets.